Hello everyone. I hope that all is well. Uh, I just want us to go through learning unit number three. As you can see, here is written markups. Markups are very much important because they affect various aspects of our syllabus. Okay, so we need to know how to account for markups. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Let's talk about the markups. Remember, the markups can either be on cost or on selling price. So you need to read the question carefully so that you can be able to understand whether you will analyze differently or not. For now, I'm gonna focus where they say the markup is on cost price. So I'm gonna use 20% uh, as our markup, okay? so. Now, when they say the markup is on cost price, this is how we analyze. Obviously, when you buy goods, you buy them at a cost, okay? And you need to add the markup. That's how we deal with the selling prices. And that this will result in what? In the selling price, okay? It is very much important to understand this equation. I can call it an equation. The cost price plus the markup always equals to selling price okay now because the markup is on cost it means cost price will always be 100 percent remember the markup is on cost meaning the cost price will be 100 percent if the markup was on selling price this hundred was supposed to be in line with the selling price and the markup is given to us as what as 20 percent can you see we write 20 percent now, if you follow the formula, the cost price plus the markup gives you the selling price. So now our selling price is going to be 120% according to the percentages. So my goods must be sold for 120% for me to gain 20%. Because if I can only sell them for 100%, it means I'm not going to earn anything as a profit. Okay. Now, Let's look at the question. Let's say, for example, I gave you selling price of 5,000 and I say, please calculate the cost price for me. So this is how you must, must go and analyze. Because I said I want you to calculate the cost price. So you must go and say in line of the cost price and you must put the question mark because I said you need to calculate the cost price. Can you see now? And now I gave you the selling price. Because you know the selling price, in line with the selling price, you must go and put what? 5,000. This is very much important. This can work for you. So you put the question mark because you are looking for it. And then you put the amount of 5,000 because you have been given selling price. If you have been given the markup, you are supposed to have the amount in line with the markup. And therefore, you need to come up with the fraction. Now you must come and look at this. Can you see the percentages? Wherever you put question mark, you are going to put that on top. Meaning I'm going to have 100 on top. Can you see now? Because I'm, I put the question mark here, I'll put the 100 on top. Because I know the selling price, I'll divide by 120 because I know the selling price. Can you see? What I'm looking for, divide by what I've been given. So the question mark will always give you the amount that you're gonna the, the 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 amount that you're gonna put on top and the, the the amount that you know will always give you what you must divide with. It's then that you multiply by this five thousand. You multiply by five thousand and your answer is four thousand one hundred and sixty-six rent and sixty-seven cents. Okay. Now let's still under markup on costs. Uh, analyze like that. Can you see? It will never change. It won't change the same way. But the questions, I, I changed the question a bit. Now, I gave it the selling price of 2,400. I say, please find the markup. You see, now I'm looking for the markup. So the question mark will be on the markup, as you can see here. So this is how I'm going to do. I put the question mark in line with the markup because I'm looking for the markup. I'll put 2,400 on the selling price because I've been given what? The selling price. Can you see now? So when I come and look for the fraction, remember where I put question mark, that percentage will be on top. Where I put the amount, 
that percentage will be at the bottom. So that's why I say on top, I've got 20 because I'm looking for uh, the markup and I'll divide by 120 because I've been given what the selling price and I just multiply by 2,400 and I get my 400 as my markup. Okay, let's continue. Still markup on cost. Just trying to give you a different uh, question. Can you see? Uh, same analysis. Remember, it won't change as long as the markup is on cost price. So the question says, now I gave you the markup of 320 and I, I want you to calculate the selling price. Remember, you must put question mark where you want to calculate something. So I'm going to put a question mark in line with what? With the selling price. Can you see? So I put question mark here because I'm looking for the selling price. But now I know my markup profit. So I'm going to put 320 in line with what? With the markup. Now I can come to the solution. Remember, where I put question mark, I'll put the fraction on top and uh, the, um, uh, the percentage on top, and where I put the amount, I'm going to put that at the bottom. So I'm going to say 120 divided by 20 times 320, and I will get my 1920 as my selling price. Okay, so now, this is where the markup is on cost price. Now, what if now we change, we say we're still using 20%, but the markup is on selling price. Remember, we still have to analyze the same way. It won't change like that. Can you see now? But it will change the way we analyze. Because we said the markup is on selling price, meaning the selling price is now 100. Can you see? And the markup is 20. But we need to satisfy the formula. Cost price plus markup is equals selling price. So whatever I put here when I add the markup, I must get what? 100. Uh, it's better to say 100 minus 20 and you get what? 80. Can you see this one has changed? as compared to when the markup is on cost. Because when the markup is on cost, the 100 is in line with the markup, and we've got the markup, and we say 100 plus markup, we get 120. But now because the markup is on selling price, we put the 100 in line with selling price, and we less 20 from 100, we get 80. But the calculation won't change. So let's say again, I gave it the markup of 400, and I say I want you to calculate the selling price. Again, you need to go and put the question mark where they, you are required to calculate something. So I'm going to have a, 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 a question mark here, can you see? Because I'm looking for the selling price. But I must go and put 400 in line with the markup, and I put 400. For me to find the solution, what must I do? Where I put question mark, this percentage will be on top. I'm going to have 100 on top, OK? So 100 on top. But I'm going to divide by the percentage of the amount that I know. Can you see now? And then I'm going to divide by 20, and I multiply by 400, and I get my 2,000. Can you see how easy is that? And thereafter, if guys you don't want to use the word the way I used it before from the previous slide, you can also use the formulas. But I don't like memorizing, but you can still use this one. Okay, markup on cost. And then if you want to find the cost price, you must take the selling price given to you. You multiply it by 100 over 100 plus MP. MP stands for markup. And the answer will be the cost price. If you have been given the, the cost price and you want to calculate the selling price, you multiply the cost price by 100 plus MP divided by 100. So it's up to you guys if you want to use this one. But I don't prefer this analysis at the end of the day. Okay. And again, if the markup is on selling price, I gave you the other way of calculating. It is up to you. And then again here, I just want to look at this with you quickly. When we calculate the cost price, we need to ask us uh, some questions. Is the selling price inclusive of VAT? So if the selling price is including VAT, before you calculate the cost price, remember to take off that VAT. Okay? But if the selling price doesn't include VAT, it's okay, you're going to use that amount. But if there's a discount, don't take it off because the cost price is calculated on the cost price, including what? Discount. It's then that you can come and decide to use this formula if you want to calculate the cost price, uh, if you want to calculate the selling, uh, if you want to calculate uh, the selling price. Okay. So here I said, is the markup on cost or on selling price? If the markup is on cost or on selling price, obviously this is how you are going to calculate can you see your cost price but if the markup is on selling price this is how you are going to calculate your cost price again guys as i said i don't prefer the formulas but you can still use that okay so again you need to check if you want to calculate the uh, the selling price you need to ask yourself this question is the markup on cost if the markup is on cost obviously you're going to use this formula. If the markup is on selling price, you're going to use this formula in order for you to find what? 
the selling price okay so guys this is just a short video uh, that i want us to look at this is just a question that you can go through and then just look at it and then i hope that you are going to be okay thank you very much guys this was just a short video just to have another look at the uh, at our uh, markups so please practice makes perfect as you know make sure that you learn you learn and you practice every day thank you very much guys have a nice day see you next